I often come to this forest. Um, the park up here is nice and quiet, uh, not very busy, and uh, the forest itself is really amazing. Um, and I feel quite safe leaving the van there. So, uh, yes, not too far from me, about 45 minutes drive from London from where I work. Um, Sue's up north. Um, she's had enough of me. She's having some time to herself. Um, or some time, family time should I say. Not time to herself because that sounds like she's trying to get rid of me. Um, I, I don't think that's the case. Uh, so yeah, she's uh, having some family time with the kids and uh, I'm out on my own. And I've been meaning to make this video for a while. Um, it's, uh, I, I guess it's a video that I wanted to make. Um, uh, a little while back I bought myself um, a water filter and I've yet to try it out. So uh, today's video's plan is to try out this water filter that I've got and uh, I'm going to either end up with really bad gut ache and the shits um, but I'm going to be totally fine. It is a Chinese bolt. It's not one of the flashy MSR or the um, what's the other one? I think my memory's going. Um, Sawyer do one, don't they? But uh, they're, they're, they're quite a well-known make. Um, but there's also uh, what's it called? I'll put the name in the description because I've forgotten. Um, but it's, it's a really good make that has been well well known um, and I've just bought a Chinesey one but I'm convinced it's going to be fine and we're going to find out today I'm going to find some really crappy water to drink and uh, see if I'll get a gut ache So uh, I'll show you where I've brought you. Okay, so I think Dylan has found our water source. Uh, that looks like something that I'm hoping to use. So this is the river I hope to be drinking from um, and yeah everyone will tell you um, if you're going to be drinking from uh, a water source try and make it as clean as you possibly can. Um, let me just show you. Right, so that would normally be a running river, um, but I knew there wouldn't be any water in it because of the recent drought we've had. We've had a really good summer this year, um, so I knew it would be pretty much uh, dry. And uh, well, Dylan's drinking it, he seems to think it's all right. Um, so yeah, going to find a nice clean water source is fairly easy, isn't it? Um, and a lot of people will do that uh, and tell you that they've purified the water and it's fine. I mean, the water they, they normally drink is probably all right to start with um, without purifying it or doing anything to it. This is covered in, I don't know if you'll see here, but obviously dogs will walk in it and swim in it and pee in it. Um, and I have no doubt whatsoever that the horses that come through here have also pooed in it. 
uh, you can see this horse comes through here so this is a a really disgusting water source and uh, I'm hoping today that I'm gonna drink it and uh, not kill myself let's find out okay so the first thing I'm gonna use is the old uh, British Army Millbank bag um, see that can you yeah just a standard British Army Millbank bag and uh, first thing I need to do is soak it so that's what I'm gonna go do I need to soak that in the water So I just found a bit of stick to hold it under the water because this needs to be soaked. Um, I really need to hold it under there for a few minutes um, because this needs to be proper soaked. So uh, I'm going to try and find a stone to weight that down with and leave it under there for a little bit. Because uh, as you can see it's still, still dry, still floating to the surface not holding any water yet. Okay, so trying to film this and uh, do it at the same time isn't the easiest job in the world so here's what I'm trying to do here uh, and I'm gonna just have to uh, keep filtering that and point it back in just show you what's actually in the bag uh, you see that and uh, it's filtered it into the cup and what actually uh, ends up in the cup is pretty clean uh, so that's going to keep going through um, I'm going to filter that through about five times uh, depending on how clear it gets I'll get back to you I'll keep you down here uh, this ain't easy trying to do the job and uh, film it as well. Whilst I'm out in the forest, I think I might uh, have a little search for some fat wood as well. Um, so you might get two for the price of one in this video. I said it was going slow. <clears throat> I'm losing my water. Right, so there you go. That's what I'm ended up with. It's a slightly green. Um, it's clear. It's really clear. I um, don't know if you can see that, but it's slightly green. So uh, that's what I'm working with here. Now I could just boil that. If I boiled that, that'd be safe to drink. Um, it probably have a horrible taste to it uh, because of the mud and the horse poo in there so uh, yeah but I could just boil that and that'll be safe to drink um, but what I'm gonna do is got to do this one-handed where's Sue when I need her right so I'm gonna just try and hold this camera between my knees whilst I uh, unzip my little filter and this is what I've got
Which one is which? This is the in. And this one is the out. Right, so here you go. This is the little filter I've got. Um, it's called a, what's that? A Moco. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the name Moco is really installing sort of some confidence in me in it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, right. Um, I haven't worked out. What I haven't worked out is how do I get my water from the cup into. Oh, I'll tell you what I can do. I've just poured away, you can see there, I've just poured away my good water, my clean water, and uh, I'm going to film this so that you see I don't cheat. That goes in there, that goes in there. I'm hoping you can see that, can't you? Yeah, okay. Mosquitoes around me. Right, and so you can see uh, what's going in, what's coming out. Keep pumping until it's all gone. Right, yeah, there you go. That's gone from there and it's now into here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw that little bit away. Come here, Dylan. Come here. Hiya. Hiya. Stay. Now. Okay, so there's my clean water, uh, and just so you can see, I'm not cheating. Uh, well, that's perfect. Um, it's got no no bad taste, no bad flavour, um, other than dog ears. That's fine. And now I guess what we need to do is see whether I get the shits tomorrow. So uh, if you're interested, 
that's the Moco um, water filter. It's got like a little floaty bit here. Uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. If it works, and if I don't die. And uh, what you do once you've uh, used it, uh, you back flush it to clean the filter. Right, so this is about um, how much did I pay for this? Um, I think it was 50 quid, something like that. And the filters are the filters are in the top here. These screw out filters. They're about 15, 20 quid each. And it does about um, I might get this wrong. I think it does 600 liters. Um, or is it 6,000? Okay, I'm going to have to check. It, it does bloody lot. Um, a, a lot of litres of water it will go through. And, uh, yeah. I will be drinking the rest of this water on this walk that I do today. So, uh, it ain't going to just be the one mouthful that I, I've just got to find somewhere to put this now. find some really strange things uh, out in the forest I ain't got a clue what this is um, big chunk of metal uh, I'll show you how big it is it's huge and it weighs a ton uh, oh, yeah. some sort of chain uh, giant spike I guess uh, Come and stand here, Dill. Come stand here. Come here. I'll give you a stay, stay, stay. That's the sort of size it is. Uh, some sort of, uh, I don't know what it is, like a bicycle chain. Huge. So uh, yeah, I hope you noticed that um, when filtering the water, I didn't drink from the cup. Um, the cup had the contaminated water in. So uh, I filtered it into my water bottle so that the water I was drinking um, didn't come into contact with the contaminated water from the cup. So. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, realise that, that the water you collect, the contaminated water in, you shouldn't be drinking from the same vessel unless you uh, heat it up. Uh, if you boil it, then again, you'll be okay. Um, but you don't want to be eating, um, you don't want to be drinking from uh, something that is uh, contaminated. So uh, just to uh, clear that up and make sure that you, you didn't confuse that. And uh, as I say, I've been wanting to do that video for a while um, because I've seen a lot of people do videos on collecting water and purifying water, but they've always gone to a nice clean stream. And I just wanted to show you um, that you can drink water that doesn't look too healthy um, and isn't flowing. Um, and you can be totally fine with it. So if I don't die, that is, uh, if I do, then disregard this video. Uh, <laughs> so. Seen a lot of these camps appearing all over the place. I've been tempted to make one or two myself. And as if by magic, I was thinking to myself, I could do with a sit down. 
and look what's there. Uh, yeah, I was thinking I'm a bit knackered now. I can do with a, a seat, and lo and behold, I find a seat. It's amazing. <laughs> Couldn't make it up if I tried.